Good afternoon. Once again, CCNA for all. Today we will deploy web security virtual appliance on Eve. So many persons uh, are asking how to do and uh, what we need to do to deploy this, but it's not difficult. It's very easy to do this and um, I will show today how to do this. All right, in you and uh, yeah, that is. This is the all the version I have. This is version nine, version ten, and so on. And this you have all this page. It's almost four comma uh, sixty two GB. All right, you must download this. Then when you download you must take this folder and put inside your EV. Go to add-ons, camo, and put here, all right? I'm using this version. Uh, this is the version I have. I put here inside. Then if you have some problem to deploy this, you can do a fix permission and so on. They will work well, all right? Now let let finish this and uh, show you how is is to do this okay so uh, i just have the image the image has all these files don't delete anyone use all of them all right if you delete anything here i think so will not work okay then what i have to do i will I, i'm come here let me see where is where is Cisco? That is the Cisco Web Security Appliance. All right. Now we choose version 10. I will not change nothing. It work only with 4 GB memory. You need uh, 4 GB memory to work. If you have more than you can give more. All right. But right now I will use the the default configuration. And it will work with Telnet. You can change for VNC or RDP. But I will use Telnet. Then, but I have more. There is nothing. Number of interface you can you can add more if you want. All right. But now, hello, Edson Adriano. Good evening, my friend. Uh, Cristóvão. Christopher Paulo, boa noite. So we are here now. Let let me do this. This is the image of um, web security uh, virtual appliance. Then we should come. No, I will use my network. All right, uh, management. <laughs> I will do just man. Uh, then I save it now let me do this and apply we have uh, more interface p1 and p2 but uh, p1 and p2 is interface to configure to configure for example when you connect root or switch you can use this those interface but uh, 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 the, the, the first interface we will use for management all right let's get in here okay it is not uh, it, 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 sometimes we have a difficult to to run this guy because your machine must uh, be very powerful to do this all right let's go let's start and the machine is starting uh, then when we just made start let's get into open my secured RT all right I open twice yeah is uh, is running let me close one all right because i need only one this is the is making boot we must only wait we don't have nothing to do more
is is not working with the VMware I was trying to deploy here but I think so it is 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 not okay let me check it's not here you can see it's not here is made only for a virtual box all right oh it's done here all right let me try yeah let me try let he finish I don't know if he will start because yeah cannot virtual device divide because da, da, da. this is only uh, it, it is IPv6 course but we are not talking about him let him if uh, will start or not all right but the fox is this guy but set up oh is working mm, interesting but the fox is w x and a let me do here something when he start we will keep let me check this guy hmm that is good not interface that is good let him start yeah and here he start too I'm using DACP wow everything is cool they will ask for a user and the password the, by default the password is the user is admin and the password is iron port all right oh that is good ipv6 is working you can see behind this is ipv6 lab is working mm but the first time when i tried to open his i was looking is also for a virtual box but i made here on vmware fusion and is working mm. i will test it soon all right now our web security virtual appliance is just on we must get in and uh, check the ip because we must access this by using our browser all right the user it will be admin and i don't port that is the i the password welcome to cisco this is the version s00v web secured virtual appliance this is appliance secured for cisco all right it is like a firewall and um, there we can uh, make a lot of kind of policies uh a lot of stuff and uh, uh, during this day i will explore too much this uh, this application all right and um so i must wait until now because um, is uh, is he take a time until start all right and uh, i sh i must wait i must wait a little bit okay and I hope so you can you you can enjoy this video right now uh, it's take a time yeah it's starting so it is very powerful it's not easy to, to run this and now he says all right this is the please run system setup wizard from this is the ip of my network okay it is the same because i'm using a, a not interface oh not no is a bridge is a manager interface is the same now i take this let's get into the interface let me put here the ip and you will be able to get in all right then show the details visit the website go it is also security there is no problem can come so that is the web secured virtual appliance interface you will need the password the password the user and password the same password and the user i use here it will be the same that you will use on the interface okay item port 
I will let the you can save the password or whatever. I will not save now. Oh, I save. <laughs> so that is the interface that and you can customize uh, this is information that you can change or you can uh, do a better things on the interface on da this dashboard all right uh, so that is uh, time what is the time today is 5 of april 2009 and uh, we don't have nothing here we have a menu my dashboard uh, overview user website uh, application anti malware advanced malware protection if i go to the dashboard you will be at the same page web manager identify profile web profile description access policy secure data and uh, traffic monitor bypassing settings security we have a lot of stuff here uh, i think so uh, everyone will have a time to explore this. This is the IP of our interface management that we use to access and we can edit. For example, this is the port that you have access, SSH uh, port 22 and uh, HTTP. You can change, you can take uh, permissions, you can uh, gave another permission for example he support ipv4 and ipv6 and you can give the name for example i ironport.example.com you can use another interfaces that is the port that uh, you have access now all right see you bye